YouTubers, got another video review for you. This one is another product from the company Goose Grips. These guys make some awesome lights. I did a review on one of their mechanics lights a while back, so I'll link that video to the end of this one. Anyways, I just wanted to show you the new product from these guys. It's called the Goose Grip Stick Light, and this thing is 39 inches long, and whenever you receive it, it'll come in a, a tube like this, and I would use, I would keep this tube as just, to, you know, storage when you're not using the light. The guy who developed this is like a mobile mechanic, so he works on a lot of different vehicles all over, and so he uses this thing day in and day out, and so uh, this is a, a really industrial type light. This is not just something, you know, you go to a parts store and spend 20, 30 bucks on. This is a heavy duty light. Now, he's uh, sent it to where it comes with like a little cover over the top of it. And if, you know, it's kind of like one of those uh, uh, things that slide over your, your fishing rod to protect it. It's just a protective sleeve that goes over it. But you just pull this off and you can see that there's an LED light here. And this thing, again, is 39 inches long, puts out 3,600 lumens. And, you know, there's a bunch of LEDs right in here. And uh, the back of it has like a piece of extruded aluminum. So it's, it's really rigid. But the cool thing about this light here is it being so slender. You can put it in so many different locations. And it fits in to a lot of places where normal size light is not going to fit. So... Uh, I mean, this thing is tiny. When you turn it on its side, I mean, it is just super tiny. And, you know, uh, he's in, uh, included some of these little magnetic eyelets. And what you do with these is you stick these up underneath the hood, one on each side, and you just take and you slide the light up underneath the hood, just like this, and these magnetic eyelets you know fit on there and you can adjust the light wherever you want it or if you're working on a car that's on a lift you know uh, you can easily put these on the bottom of the car and, and use this as your light or you can prop it up or lay it on the ground uh, I know that this light really does come in handy if you're working on like pulleys or put you know replacing belts on the front of your engine you know it's hard to get a light down in there to see what you're doing but with this you can just drop it down the front of the uh, motor and just let this rest on the ground and this thing puts out a ton of light now the way that it's powered is you've got a little plug here that connects into a, a six foot cord and you can take and hook it up with these little alligator clips to your battery on your vehicle so you can use your vehicle to power it up it does have an inline fuse already built in so, you know, you don't have to worry about catching anything on fire. Now, uh, I've talked to Kevin, the owner of Goose Grips, and he said, you know, several times that you could uh, keep this thing plugged up on like a four hour job and your, your battery might be okay. But then depending on the condition of your battery, you might need a jump start after. So it really just depends on how long this thing will run depending on how good a condition your battery is in. Now, if you don't want to run it on the car that you're working on's battery, you don't have to. Uh, there's other things that you could connect it to to give it power. So you can use it on your car's battery if you would like. Um, there's no telling how long uh, it'll run. I mean, because this is a big light. Like I said, it things puts out 3,600 lumens of light. So, you know, it's going to draw a pretty good amount of power. So you don't want to leave this thing plugged up overnight because you'll come out the next morning and your battery will be dead. So make sure you use this thing with some common sense. Uh, you've got to, uh, you know, not leave it plugged up such an extended amount of time, but two, three hours, you should be fine. Again, that just depends on the condition of your battery. Another way that you can power this light if you wanted to is, you know, a lot of people have these little battery jump starters and you can take it and turn it around and hook it, the alligator clips to the, uh, the positive and negative terminals there on the or the battery clips and just turn the thing on and you can see that you know this thing puts out quite a bit of light it's pretty bright it's going to give you a lot of light to be able to see to work it's not a soft white it's more of a bright white so and 
This is not as bright as it'll go. This thing's not fully charged, so that's why it's not as, as bright to its potential. Now, also I wanted to mention that, you know, if you don't want to use the alligator clips, I'm sure you can reach out to Goose Grips and they probably have a cigarette lighter uh, plug uh, that you could, you know, use with this instead of having to use the alligator clips. Because I know some people don't want to, you know, connect these to the battery where they could just plug it right into their cigarette lighter. Uh, also, this would be a good light just to keep, you know, up underneath the back seat of your truck. Let's say you had a, a flat or something like that, or you needed to work on your vehicle. This would provide you with a lot of freaking light. And, uh, you know, also if you're working on a lawnmower, this would be good to hook to a lawnmower battery. But keep in mind, you know, the, the battery's not going to last nearly as long as in a car because it's a lot smaller capacity. But anyways, for you guys that's wondering, you might say, well, my, I've got a newer vehicle and it has an aluminum hood. Um, they have, you know, like the latch area up underneath the hood is usually made from steel. And if not, there's usually some bolts or something like that that's close by where you can take and connect these little magnetic eyelets to just the bolts or to the, around the latch area up underneath the hood and these are super strong they're not weak magnets uh, once you connect them like that when you first get them try to pull them apart I mean it takes a lot of strength to pull those things apart so they would easily be able to stick onto a bolt and you could uh, put this uh, light through there because this light it doesn't weigh very much so I'm out here at the, the lawnmower and I just wanted to show you how bright this thing is I'm gonna go ahead and connect it I'll turn my headlamp off just to show you guys how bright it is. That's without the headlamp. I mean, look at this. This thing's like daylight, no joke. I just wanted to show you on a 2021 Jeep Gladiator, like I was saying, the hoods are made out of aluminum, but you can look right in here and you can see that this uh, latch part, it's made out of steel. And then uh, right over here, there's some bolts. There's some bolts right there uh, and there's a steel bolt there. So, you know, while you might have an aluminum hood and aluminum body panels, there's always gonna usually be some steel bolts holding everything together so i'm gonna show you how to rig this thing up and uh we're just gonna go from there so you can use that bolt right there that bolt right there and then i'm just gonna run this through and now you've got it all rigged up now if you wanted to hook it anywhere on here i mean i could move this and move it right here to that prop rod and hook both both uh magnets to the prop rod and that that would be fine or you can hook to, to any of these any of these bolts here. Uh, this is the first time I've done it, so just showing you guys. And then you can turn it whichever way uh, that you want it. And then all that you do to hook it up is you come over here, you hook up your positive right there, then you hook your negative up. And look at all that light. I mean, that's freaking ridiculous. I've got my headlamp turned off. But where this thing really comes in handy is not only is it just an underhood light, but like I was saying before, let's say you've got to replace some butt belts or something. Let's pull these, pull these magnets loose. And let's say you got a belt to replace. Try looking down in there. Now look, you can take this and just drop it all the way in there, all the way to the ground. And man, it allows you to see where other lights couldn't get down in there. I mean, you couldn't put another work light in that area right in there. So, you know, this thing here is just awesome. And, you know, if you're working anywhere up underneath the hood, I mean, this light really does a great job at put, putting out a lot of light. And... You know, let's say you want to work up underneath the vehicle. Check this out. I mean, it lights the whole area up 
I mean, if you were changing your oil or, you know, just working on whatever, you, it would be really handy. That's a lot of, that's a lot of light. Again, this thing's 39 inches long, 3,600 lumens of LED power. So, uh, check out the Goose Grips Stick Light. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Now, this thing does have an awesome warranty on it. Let's say you break this thing in two, you send Goose Grips 20 bucks, and they'll replace it. But you got to prove that it's been broken, and you know, and you know, you've not just been an idiot and snapped it in two for no reason. You've got to prove it. But you know, they're they're good about replacing the stuff. Uh, so the $20 warranty is it's really awesome. It's hard to hard to beat that. But uh, I will tell you, if you're working on up underneath the dash or something, you might want to take and point it to where the lights going up because like I said these LEDs get pretty warm on the front and you don't want to burn uh, your, some of your interior or whatever because this thing does put out a lot of light and so it draws a lot of power from your battery even though it's LED but I mean the thing's pretty amazing so anyways check out Goose Grips Stick Light talk to you guys later have a good one